All right, folks, so uh, this is the tools that you need for doing a Healy coil repair. Um, drill, drill and your drill bits, and you want to have a process of a step down, so you need several drill bits that are small and lead up to the final size of the um, hole that needs to be drilled. And so you got your wrench, wrench, your helical kit, drill, drill bits, starter punch. All right. Morning, folks. John Canode here with PRF Shelving Solutions. This following video is sponsored by PRF Shelving. Please check out our website, prfshelving.com. It will show you the only portable shelving system in existence for uh, rental trucks, high top vans, enclosed trailers. It's got a patent. It's the greatest thing in the planet. Thank you very much. My son is working on his 70, what year? Over at 90 what? 95. 95 Ford truck and we were putting a water pump on it yesterday and he snapped that bolt off. They were really, this bolt's never been out of this thing and they're t very tight. So, first thing you need to do is take your starter punch, find the center of the bolt. Broken bolt. Put me a little oil on there, Jail. No. Just a little bit, that's all I need. Just a little bit. Folks, make sure you do not break the drill bit off in there. You do that, and you got a whole other problem. sensor. Size bit. Okay. Okay. Two, two, all the 
Okay. So, folks, if you ever have a question about which drill bit to use for the tap, most of the time it'll say right in the side. This one's hard to see. I don't know if you can see with that camera, but it says 2164th. Okay, so that's what we use. So far, so good, folks. Didn't break a drill bit off. All right, folks, time to tap. And so far, I can feel it going in. It feels pretty good. Tapping, you want to go in and then back it out a little bit. Because what you do is you're machining more te new teeth, threads. out okay so take it out we're gonna have to modify the tap so that we can get deeper into the hole because the tap is beveled and you won't have threads all the way down so what we're gonna do is what we're gonna do is take this point off all right so we cut that tip off, so now we can get deeper with the tap. So we got to blow out the metal. I'm going to turn the camera off and make sure we don't blow it on. All right, so we're ready to put the tap, I mean the uh, helicoil, in the engine, in the uh, new hole. And you screw it on there like that. See how it goes on there? You take your tool and you screw that baby in there, man. I need me a wrench. Okay.
going. So we're gonna have to grind that little piece off. got a little bit hanging out. I'm going to have to grind that off, which is okay. It should go deeper, so I'm going to... Man, it don't want to go any deeper, so we're not going to force it. Yeah, we're not going to force it. Don't force anything, folks. It says no. No means no. I will say that uh, when you get a Healy coil, in some cases, it's good to use a stud instead of a bolt. And I think in this case, we're going to use a stud and glue it in there. All right. Bidi, 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 bidi. That's all. That's how you do it. These help me super accurate, too. 